What's up everyone, Rick from Tack Hill here. Was tagged by Ed from Grizzly Taco. He uh, asked me what my favorite bushcraft item is. So uh, I'll let you guys know what that is. And uh, actually I have two. And uh, I have to tag three other guys. So I'll do that at the end of the video. Um, when I think of bushcraft, I think of a number of things. I think of hunting, fishing, backpacking, hiking, you know, uh, survival, camping, uh, not just building shelters and stuff like that. I think uh, bushcraft is like a, a conjoining of all of those things in one. And uh, my favorite item is an item I carry with me every single day. And that, uh, that's my Leatherman Rev. I think it's a really great multi-tool. I really like it. Um, the reason why I choose this is because in every single one of those areas, this item has a use. Um, every single one of them. So, that's why I choose this. Uh, now let's go ahead and look at the blade. The blade on this, for number one, it fits in your hand really well. It's, it's perfect for skinning. Okay. It fits in your hand really well. You can get a nice grip on it. Now, some people don't like the fact that the uh, other arm here is thinner. You can see there it's thinner. But in true honesty, it adds to the uh, controllability of this knife. Also, it's a great uh, whittling knife. Also, a great carving knife. It has this, like, spear... Not, not a spear point. It's like a drop point, but perfect for... For hollowing out and drilling, uh, to me this is this is the perfect uh, EDC item, but also the perfect uh, bushcraft survival type item. So that's number one. Um, now, Ed had mentioned in his video that uh, he didn't really want to do knives or firearms because a lot of people do that, and uh, I I totally understand that, but. I have to disagree with not doing knives because knives are the number one item for bushcraft, survival, any of that stuff. Uh, without a knife, you're lost. So uh, I, I definitely would have to choose my SE6. This to me is the epitome of bushcraft survival knife. This knife is just amazing, and I've, I've used it for so many different things. The, the coating that Essie puts on their knives is uh, so fantastic. It, it just doesn't wear off for nothing. I mean, it's just really, really good. And uh, other than my Hunglis, my Essie Hunglis, this is my favorite knife of all the knives that I have. Uh, the sheath is in ejection molded sheath, uh, molded plastic. The retention on it is really good. You can hear the click here. It's got a really nice click. The retention is really, really good. Sorry for that slapping around in the back. The retention is really good. The only downside to this sheath is that it does have uh, some rattle. You can see there. Uh, another wonderful thing about this sheath is that it has a open belt clip on it. So you can hook this to your belt easy on, easy off. I like to hook it to my pocket. Because uh, it, it, it adds like almost like a dangler system to it. We'll go ahead and hook that in there and I'll show you. And you can just pull it out real easy. Put it back in real easy. Um, and also pull it off real easy. Uh, now it came with this little bit of paracord here. I wrapped it around like that so you could tie stuff into it. Um, this is definitely, definitely my favorite uh, bushcraft or survival item. So I'm supposed to tag three people, and uh, I'm going to have to say uh, Wilderness Camp 85. He's a really nice guy. Um, just recently subscribed to him. I've talked to him a lot. Uh, he does a lot on wild edibles and stuff like that, and he had talked to me about uh, getting a book for myself to, uh, to learn more about wild edibles. And the other day... See, do I have it right there? Uh, nope. Uh, 
I'll grab it. The other day, um, I was over at the Goodwill just looking around. I didn't really find a whole lot. I found this this new picture here, which is awesome. It's uh, Angler's Anonymous official member. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and then I found this here. Filled and stream the Total Outdoorsman Manual. 374 skills you need for camp, fish, hunt, and survival. Thought that was a great book. It has tons of pictures inside of it for all kinds of stuff. It's really awesome. And it's shit. You know, look at all the moors. Oh yeah. Uh, it's it's a great book. You know, it has a lot of uh, useful information. Look at all those beautiful knives. Uh, great book. Let me go ahead and grab the other one real quick. This one here is called The Complete Book of Herbs, A Practical Guide to Growing and Using Herbs by Leslie Bremens. Um, what I like about this is it has an herbal index inside of it uh, detailing like tons of herbs and it gives their medicinal properties as well as um, pictures of them throughout their growth and everything as well. So you can, you can look and see them as they grow and, and show seeds and everything um just a really great book and i'm going to try and take it out there and use it a little bit now granted it, in the environment i'm in uh it's very hot as you can see i'm pouring in sweat right now and, and that's with the air conditioner on it's about probably 115 outside right now um so if my shirt's a little wet from the sweat sorry guys um but yeah in, in my environment a lot of these these plants don't grow um I had to change a lot of the ideology that I had when I moved here because uh, most of my survival knowledge was based on like forestry and stuff like that, not on desert. And uh, I had to learn a lot of different things when I came down here. Um, and I'm still learning. I mean, we're all learning. It's a it, life is a learning process. But uh, I just want to let you know, bro. I uh, I did check out that book. And uh, I'm going to try and get the other books that you had mentioned to me. And um, the other guy I want to tag is uh, Cheap Survival. He was one of the first guys who uh, contacted me. And uh, one of the first guys who subscribed to my channel. So I definitely want to get him on there. Um, another guy that I want to uh, tag. Let's see. Who else do I want to tag? We'll tag Richard from Bentley's Backwood Bushcraft. He's a really cool guy, and I've talked to him a lot. He uh, just got done building a, a small permanent shelter, semi-permanent shelter. Uh, so, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to, to hear what his favorite, uh, favorite bushcraft item is. So, anyway, guys, this is Rick from Tack Hill. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Love to hear from you guys. Love to talk to you guys. And uh, remember, my friends, in order to thrive, you need to strive to survive. See you later.